Hey guys, welcome back to Triple F Shooting. The Staccato DPO is fun to shoot, but it can be more fun to shoot when suppressed. Hey guys, we are back out at the range with the Staccato and we are gonna suppress it. Now, some of this might cut because the local police officers are over there just tearing it up. So if you hear a whole bunch of shooting, that's what's going on. What I'm gonna do first, I've got 147 grains in here. So those are subsonic. I'm gonna shoot without the suppressor, five rounds off target and five rounds on steel. And then we're gonna rotate into the suppressor and do the exact same thing and compare notes. So got my cute GoPro, we got lots of different angles we can shoot. So let's see what happens. Okay. We're ready. All right. All right. Five rounds off steel to get the sound of like the dull thud and five rounds on steel, we'll put the suppressor on. Do it again. All right, on steel. So, fairly loud. So I am going to put in, actually before I do that, a stupid huge suppressor and turn my gun into a giant meat sword. So this is a Silencer Co. Osprey 45. It is not a 9 mil suppressor. I got the 45 so I could do a little bit more with it. So keep that in mind that not as much suppression as we possibly could get, but we're still going to be much quieter. All right, so just the weight alone that's <laughs> floating around on the end of this thing. I'm going to shut up and shoot before the police start shooting up again. Here we go. Five rounds off target. That first round's always louder. Five rounds on steel. Gun runs really well with the Osprey. It's got some cool piston stuff in there that keeps your semi-auto running. You can see all the smoke pouring out from the back pressure. I will get a picture of the glass. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But suppressors throw a lot of stuff at your optics, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, guys, so today we're doing a quick sound suppressor demo with the Staccato DPO, specifically with the Osprey 45. We'll get into a little bit more detail on this in just a moment, but what I'd like to talk about is like the advantages and disadvantages of firing suppressed, because other than for giggles on the range, there's not a whole lot of point for a handgun anyway, in my opinion, or at least for what I would ever need. So really quick. Um, with the suppressor, the advantages will start there. It's quiet. Cool. Like that makes sense, right? That seems pretty obvious, but it does quiet it down for the shooter quite a bit, which can, can, will basically mitigate the hearing loss that you could potentially get later in life if you're shooting all the time quite a bit. Uh, in fact, in Europe, uh, handgun suppressors are extremely available for very cheap. There's no background checking, extra stuff, any more than their normal handgun, but basically you can just go buy these. Here you have to do your, oh, what is it, somewhere around eight months. They've apparently sped that up to a month. I have not tried to get back into that system since I've purchased this, so hopefully they actually have it a little bit cleaner and faster. I don't know if that's the case. Anywho, quieter. Yay. Um, it can give you a little bit more of a boost in feet per second because you're actually adding time for those gases to propel the round a little bit longer. I don't know that that's of any real advantage for your handgun calibers. Some of the other advantages, it mitigates recoil as well as sound. You're throwing quite a bit of weight out on the end of the gun and you have a little bit less recoil. Now, because you have so much weight on the gun, you do have a balance issue. We'll get that in the disadvantages, but uh, the last thing I can really say that's a huge advantage for a suppressor is if you're trying to train somebody to shoot a handgun and they have a serious flinch, they're, they're jerking around, this takes a lot of the report out of it, takes some of the recoil out of it. So if you're trying to get someone who's a first time shooter, I would start with a 22 long rifle, but if you have a suppressor, that can even mitigate that further to where they can focus on all the fundamentals. They don't have to worry about any of the loud bang, crash, and recoil. 
That's all I got on advantages though. So as far as disadvantages, at least to me, uh, again, adds a lot of weight. I think this thing weighs around, uh, I believe it's 11 ounces. The more you shoot, the more buildup you have in there. Uh, you can clean that out with something like a sonic cleaner. This particular suppressor does not come apart beyond the piston, which we'll get to later. So added weight, that can help mitigate recoil, but it also makes the gun feel like you got some kind of funky meat sword just dangling out in front of you that's all droopy in the nose weight. The other disadvantage, uh, I can't holster it. I have no holster to be able to put that in. So if I really did want to use this for any like tactical reason, I basically have to run around with it in my hands. I have no way of holstering up. I think there are different holsters made for things like that. So you can do that, but then you're talking gun starting at hip going down to knee. I don't really have a need for that specifically. Not that you have to have a need to have guns. I, most of the guns I have, I don't have any real need for. So that may not matter. It changes the gun handling. Again, when that nose front heavy kind of thing happens, when the gun recoils, I do notice that, I guess it's the added weight. This is a heavy gun to begin with. I do notice some bob. My grip isn't quite as strong that way and I'm watching that dot fly around a lot. Speaking of the dot, I will clip in a picture really quick, but suppressors create back pressure. It fires junk back at your face. Uh, different guns do that worse than others. Different suppressors do that worse than others. But if you have a dot, it is just puking junk from your ammo all over the dot face. So you're gonna need to clean that thing up. If you have any lubrication on the gun or if you wet your suppressor to attempt to get it to be a little quieter, you're gonna fuzz that dot up very quickly, uh, talking two, three shots. So not great there. If you're just running iron sights, that'd be better. Uh, now we'll get into the theory of it. Don't know how much this matters. It's different for every person, but if I were to need to use this in home defense, which is one of the ideas that I was like, oh, I'd be really great. I wouldn't be so loud. You know, I'm not blowing my eardrums out. There's a backdraft to that where if I fire the gun with a suppressor, it's much quieter, cool. But that can take away from my surprise factor. If someone's actually in the house and I have to fire the gun, being extremely loud and flashy, it's gonna, in some ways, work in my advantage because it can, A, terrify the guy, blind him, whatever it is. And then if he's got buddies outside and they hear a big flash bang, boom, they may be less likely to come in after him rather than, you know, nice quiet little pops and they don't know what's coming on or going on and then here they come. So that's all theory. That's up for everyone's debate. I have no idea if any of that works because I've never been in that situation. Hope I never am. But we'll go into a little bit more shooting. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to mention really quick is that that was subsonic ammo, which is obviously going to quiet it down a bunch. We're gonna shoot some 115 supersonic ammo really quick just to show you the difference between sub and super. You still get kind of a crack. It's not nearly as quiet as a sub. So five rounds in the dirt, five rounds on speed. There we go. All right, now on steel. I lied, I had nine. But that's okay. Counting's hard. All right, now that we're back from a little more of that sound testing, we'll look in depth at the Osprey 45. Now, again, the 45 caliber means that it is not as good as it could be for my 9mm rounds. Basically, the closer I can get to the diameter of the bullet, the quieter my suppressor is going to be for me. But I bought this because it would give me a lot of different options. Options being noted, this particular suppressor has a piston system with interchangeable, essentially they look like muzzle brakes. I'll clip in a picture of one of them, but you can actually take this portion out of the gun so that I can fit it to various different thread pitches. Uh, one of the main reasons I got this. Once you've done that, you can tell that this thing is asymmetric and a lot of the suppressor body sits below the thread pitch of the barrel. With that being said, I can clock it to my gun basically anyway if I wanted to I could shoot it completely upside down so it was totally in my face but that asymmetry gives me less of a need for suppressor height sights because it sits fairly low to the bore suppressor height sights are still better 
for shooting this because you definitely get above it, but it does help. It's not some huge tube hanging off the end of your gun. And once I've got the thing threaded on, I can actually break that clamp loose and clock the thing to wherever I need it to be. So I could have it mounted to my bore straight on. I could go this way, upside down, however I wanted it to do. I can do it, which is an excellent thing considering this doesn't thread on in the perfect alignment with the barrel every time. But very cool suppressor. Definitely glad I bought it. Not too sure it's going to ever have a lot of practical use for me, but I love the thing. It's very fun to shoot, and who doesn't like to feel tactical? So with that being said, I appreciate you guys hanging out, and we will see you on the next video of Triple F Shooting. Sweat stash rocker. It is recording. All right, guys, just to demonstrate how much weight difference there is and everything, what I'm going to attempt to do is a five on, reload, and transition to that target for another five. Um, a lot more weight hanging off the front end of this gun. So we'll see if it affects me a whole lot. So we've got our subsonics again, five rounds static, reload on the move, and hopefully five rounds on that one while moving. You want to give me an up call?